What's going on guys, it's day 10 and day 10 is a big milestone for this because it's actually a sixth of the way through a sort of how many days I'm doing because I'm trying to upload 60 videos for 60 days and I've got six reasons, funnily enough, of why I started this series and why I'm doing it because some people might say oh I'm doing it for attention to get the views, da 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 nope because trust me when people, when I say this people would not go out of their way to share their personal experience and a personal journey literally on th on on a youtube or tiktok or whatever it is because it's very difficult to do because you're essentially exposing yourself to the world of how what what kind of person you really are and want to keep it real it's got people go it's gone on for too long that people are ashamed of being depressed anxious whether it's men or women i don't care what gender you are this is not about i mean obviously this is particularly targeted towards men because men are a lot more f sensitive towards not not um being honest about it but this is for everyone like men women children you name it i want everyone to see this because ultimately there's there's been so many issues in the past with um, people committing suicide, um, people um, acting acting out in international ways. That's what I was doing recently. I was acting out with people that I've never thought I'd ever do, becoming way too clingy, obsessive, um, not knowing what to do with myself. And that's all down to because I wasn't honest about what was going on at the time. I'd, I've had this issue since about June, sort of maybe early July, where things have really crumbled. And, I, and initially I was in complete denial complete denial about what's going on and i had no idea what to do or who to turn to but then i started and then it almost when i started revealing what was going on it almost pushed people away or pushed myself away because i didn't know what i was handling it so badly i let it build up and obviously as a result of that it had some consequences and that's what i'm trying to say to people and everyone around it, like it's always best to talk as say how you feel, whether it's friends, family, you'd have to make a YouTube series like this or TikTok and put this on TikTok as well. And I want people to see this. And yeah, people keep saying to me, a couple, one person the other day said to me, are you trying to attention seek? Are you trying to compensate for something? And no, that is not the case. I would never ever do anything like this for attention. I want to help other people and inspire other people because there's been a few people that I've actually genuinely inspired. Um, I hope he's all right me saying this. I'm not going to mention any names, but some, there's someone that I met um, that I've come across from uni who had a lot of issues at university, and I hope he doesn't mind me saying this. He's had issues with alcohol and drugs and all the rest of it through his mental health. And he reached out to me, and he was on my uni course, all enough, and he said he wanted to share with his group, and I'm really grateful for that. I want I want this story to get out there because it's okay to struggle in life people go through things all the all, all, all the all the time and um i'm not saying like i keep saying you have to share it around the world but speak about it man speak about it because i used to think oh i'm a hard man i'm not going to mention that i've got anxiety or depression or anything like that but then you end up you end up becoming the worst person possible like there was a, there was a, i'll tell you a story actually there was a um a few weeks ago, um, I so I'm a tutor basically, and I got um, good GCSE results from my students. Everyone got the grades they wanted, and it was brilliant. And I was really, really proud of myself. But on that same day, I, we went to the museum as like a little celebrate a, to celebrate or whatever, just with a few mates. And I was looking down at the floor the whole time because of how depressed and anxious I was about a lots of things that were going on. I was overwhelmed about literally everything, and I wasn't I wasn't myself at all. And that day was sort of like one of my low points and it's been really, really difficult. And I've, I've come a long way since then. That was about four or five weeks ago now. But yeah, like I've known people in the past and I'm, um, that have genuinely gone into, they've been sectioned, for example, because they've not, they've, they've mental health issues. And mental health is getting worse and worse by the day. Um, it's not getting better. It needs to be so. It, and I think the best medicine, in my opinion, is to do things like this: speak about it to people, be open about it, because the people get more likely to reach out about that um, about it to you and um, come out of their shell. Because if you keep it hidden, 
everyone else is going to keep behaving because no one's going to talk about it. It's going to lead to things like suicides or irrational actions. And there's lots of irrational things I've done recent, recently. And I'm not going to like, I've, for example, I've said to, I've said to people, I want to kill myself. Like I'm not even joking. Like th two weeks ago, I wanted to end my own life. I'm not even exaggerating at all. I was in a really, really shitty place. I was ringing so many different people, tr working out what I need to do. I didn't know what I was doing and I was dead panicky, shaking, I wasn't talking to, I wasn't even wanting to go outside. When I went outside, I felt like sitting, I felt like going to the park and just walking and keep on going. I wanted to just disappear from the face of the earth and I was thinking about like doing anything to myself. And that is a position I never want, I never want to feel like that again. And it takes a lot to say that on camera to say that you've genuinely wanted to end your own life before. And... Uh, that's what that's what it's come to that's what it sometimes comes to if if the, if things get out of hand that's what does happen and it's a real real thing and um i've got other friends i'm not going to expose who they are obviously but we've, we've, we've been in similar positions and that's okay and i just want these pe i want people to know that there's help out there if you go to university get the support there's counseling there's mental health services if you've not got that, there's, there's usually doctors, do whatever you need to do, whether it's medication, counsel, whatever you feel is best. Just make sure, whatever you do, if you're taking drugs or alcohol um, to deal with your mental health issues, get the support you need as well for sobriety and your health. Because that's what's going to make you a better person at the end of the day. And obviously it's going to take a long time, it's going to take several weeks, months, even years. But if you want to become the best version of yourself, if you want to do something about it, talk say something to someone reach out because you're not alone in this and i'm insisting that and, and i insist myself that i'm here for you so if you if you come across this video you want to talk about anything if you want to get my number email i'm more than happy to reach out and support you because ultimately i feel like i'm in the place to do so now my mental health of the past few weeks has been horrendous but it's really improving now all i want to do is help other people and i'll do anything anything for anyone because i know how it feels and i do not want anybody to go through this i really really don't it's not nice and i think it's important we all get together as a community and i know it's not i know this day 10 video has been really really weird in terms of why i've done um in terms of, uh, so i know this day 10 video has been quite a di quite a different one but i feel like it's so important to put a message out there that you're all going to be okay everything's going to be fine as long as you just talk I know I keep saying it, but talk. Trust me, it's the best way to do it. Reach out to friends, family, even myself. I'm more than happy to put my details out there. I've got no issue with that. But yeah, in terms of day 10, everything's gone really, really well. I'm sort of still in bed at the moment. It's quite early here. I'm going to get myself sorted out now and start my day. But I hope you guys have a good one. And um, yeah, peace out.